Hi everyone, welcome back and finally we have a more affordable RTX card. This is the RTX 3050 6 gigs. It's a stripped down version from the 8 gigs version and the unfortunately for me, I do not have the 8 gigs model to compare with but in this video, I have the GTX 1650 to compare with and I'm glad to say that the 6 gigs card over here actually performs pretty well but before we dive into the benchmarks let's have a look at the card itself now from the view here you'll see that this is a dual fan card and it looks pretty much like the gtx 1650 model except that when i turn it around you see that there's no power connector required for this card and we'll go into the details on why later on now as i flip it around you will see that not only that it does not have any power connector you see that it has a back plate too which unlike the other model it does not have so this is a nice touch for a card like this. And over here are the output ports for the card itself. So yes, very simple card it is. Very simple cooling for simple purpose. So let's dive into the details right now. For 1080p gaming at lowest graphics settings I could possibly get. Of course, I'm using the profile and this is the benchmark. You see that compared to the 1650, it actually has some 20 to 30% improvement on average so the performance is good considering that you know you're getting a lot more performance out of this card compared to the 1650. now the 1650 is priced at about rm 700 range but this card is priced at about rm 900 so you say it's like 20 plus percent premium over the 1650 but you get 30 plus um additional performance which i think is a good trade-off but what i like most about this card is that it does not require the 8 pin pcie power connection or 6 pin for this one actually so what happens is when you don't require that power it means that it can run below a certain power draw limit and then it can run cooler and here's what i mean compared to the 1650 it runs below 75 watts Therefore, it does not require the power connector and it runs cooler. And what does this mean? This means that this card is very suitable for really budget builds, even with the system with power supply that does not have PCIe power connector. So for this video, I'm doing something a bit different. I'm going to show you a possible build using this card and you can use uh, that build as a guide for an affordable entry-level gaming PC. So with that said, let's go into the details on what it's like, how is it to build in the entry level rig that is satisfying enough as what you can see in the benchmark results. Let's go. Starting the components list is the slab case Spotless M, a small form factor case at 13.8 liters volume that supports a full size micro ATX motherboard and it comes with an SFX 280 watts power supply that is without a PCIe power cable, which is why the RTX 3050 6 gigs from PNY here suits the build. The motherboard of choice is the affordable Maxon MS Challenger H610MR, and the CPU is the tiny powerhouse from Intel, the Core i3 12100F. As for the memory, it is a low profile DDR4 kit from PNY, and the drive is the PNY CS 1031 500 gigs. And the whole build comes to a little bit over RM2000. If you're getting me to build this, it's probably going to cost you 2500 We can talk about that some other time. Do drop me a message if you like a rig like this. And the pricing in US dollars, it's still below 500 So this is what the 3056 gigs is for. It's, I know some of you may think it's a lousy product well that's because if you are paying in us dollars i can understand that but try to put your shoes where people like i am or where we are here in malaysia that the price is really uh, expensive with a weak exchange rate many people are actually looking for rigs like this it's affordable a whole new system which 2000 plus but it gives reasonable frame rate i mean look at the frame rates that they had pro provided earlier you can see that a lot of people they actually don't mind running low graphics settings they just want to enjoy the game so yeah this is actually a good setup a, um how you say a suitable specs for a price that people want to pay for so yeah overall the 3056 gig suits the bill because it does not have the 
require it does not require the PCIe power connection which so happens this power supply does not have and yeah it is for build like this that's it for this one thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye